welcome to the channel. I want to get on here and talk a little bit about mods. You know, a lot of people do mods and stuff to their trucks. Me, specifically to the Tundra. Um, I've done a lot of things to this truck. Mostly cosmetic or aesthetic. Um, a couple of mechanical or functional, I guess. So, I guess I categorize mods those two ways. Aesthetic or cosmetic and mechanical or functional. Uh, what should you look at when you're going to do uh, mods to your truck? You know, if you do something cosmetic, as long as you don't do something that's, you know, crazy like repaint the whole thing or, I don't know, cut the top off, you can change it if you need to. If for some reason you didn't like it. You know, I've done the, uh, the grill, for example. I had the grill color matched, uh, went with the sport grill as opposed to the crew max grill, I guess, that came with the truck. I could always take it off and put the old one back on if I wanted to. Not that difficult to do, really. Not that hard to change. If for some reason, you know, I did it, I just didn't like it. But when you do things that are more functional or more mechanical, um, a little more involved and typically a lot more expensive. Uh, for example, the, the TRD exhaust and the cold air intake. Now while you could change them back to to what you originally had, uh, they cost quite a lot of money to, to get and if you have them installed the labor um, by the time you're done. I mean I've got about oh I think about twenty two, twenty three hundred dollars into those two mods. And they also change a little bit not so much the uh, cold air intake, I guess, but the exhaust, how the truck sounds. It, I mean, if you go out and you put a new exhaust on the truck, let's say, and you spend all the money to do it and have it done, whatever, and you discover after a couple weeks or something that you just don't like it. You don't like the sound. Maybe it has some sort of a drone, and you just can't stand it. Um, it's not something that you can just get in the truck and not have to look at, like the front grill. I mean, right now I can't see the grill, so what do I care what it looks like? But I can't get away from the exhaust sound. I've done it, it's there, I can't change it. So I think when you do a mod to a, a, a truck, you have to be uh, pretty darn sure that you're going to like what you've done. And For me, that means going out and either finding someone who has done what you've done or something similar or maybe getting on the web, YouTube for example, and listening to some sound clips and things to see how it sounds before you jump in and do it and maybe not like what you've done. The aesthetic things, uh, as I've said, you can't always go back unless you do something, you know, really major. Uh, another example, I think, of, of things that would be difficult to change or maybe something that you might do and then not like in the end would be a lift. Let's say that you go out and you put a, I don't know, a six inch lift on the truck. And after a while, you know, when you put a lift that, that's that tall, you're gonna obviously change some things about the truck. One of the most obvious, of course, is it's gonna be higher up in the air. You have to climb in and out of the truck. Uh, if that becomes annoying after a while, or if maybe it's something you can't do for some physical reason or whatever, uh, it might become a problem for you later. So you really ought to consider what that's going to be like once you're done, once you've spent all that money and changed the, the, the setup of the truck. Uh, the way the truck handles, you know, raising the truck up in the air and probably changing out the wheels and the tires and all that good stuff because, you know, you got to do that. Um, that's going to change the way the truck feels. It might be rougher. It might not handle as well. Uh, it might not feel as good, but after you've invested the money and, and made that change, it's not real easy to go back. It's not something that you can just pull in the garage and change in a couple minutes, you know, or a couple hours even. Um, fuel economy is another thing that's going to be impacted. You know, if you're sensitive to that, the Tundra doesn't get, get uh, really great gas mileage as it is. So when you change the setup, i.e. a lift, new tires bigger tires, uh, you're going to impact your fuel mileage. It's going to decrease. If that's something that you're very sensitive to, it may be something that uh, 
really turns you off, you know, as far as the truck goes in the long run. So you gotta consider that when you when you are going to make that kind of a change. Not only is it a big financial investment, but it might uh, change how you feel about your truck. I know in the past, and I'll use uh, the Rebel as an example, the exhaust. You know, I had changed out the exhaust on the Rebel. I went with a more aggressive, louder exhaust. And obviously, when you're cruising down the freeway or whatever in an aftermarket or with an aftermarket exhaust, there is a potential for a drone. And I would say that the Rebel had some of that after I made my change, but it didn't bother me. It wasn't enough that I thought, oh, God, why did I do this, you know? Or, I don't like it, I want to go back, or it somehow turned me off against the truck. But I could see there could be some folks out there who might. You know, after a while, and the newness of it wears off, and the, the grumble that you get, you know, when you're going from stoplight to stoplight, you decide you're going to take a cross-country trip, you know, you've got your family with you, and... Uh, and people start to complain about the noise, it's driving them nuts. Uh, might become a problem down the road, no pun intended. So those are some of the things that I think if you're gonna if you're gonna do mods to the, the truck, you really ought to think about and consider before you do it. Now I think most times and most mods, if not all that I've ever done, um, I was pretty happy with. Um, I can't think of anything uh, off the top of my head, really, on this truck that I've done. I love everything that I've done to the, uh, the current Tundra that I have. But uh, there was one uh, that I can think of that I did, and that was on the Ford F-150. And this is a simple mod, easily changed. But it cost me, I don't know, four... Four or four hundred bucks, something like that, and that was the uh, tonneau cover that I put on the back. You know, I like the looks of it, I really did, but the functionality of it, uh, I really had a problem with later on, and I started to regret doing it because I wanted to have unrestricted full access to the, the entire bed at the moment that I wanted it. In other words, I didn't want to have to get out. Uh, screw with a tonneau cover, maybe even have to take it off because it was a trifold, I think. And once you got it all the way to the, the front of the, I guess the rear of the cab here, uh, you still had space that it took up. And you couldn't fully utilize the bed if you needed to for some reason. And one right reason I didn't like it is because I couldn't put dirt in the bed anymore. You know, it seems like every summer I need to have a couple of loads of dirt. I'd go to the, the greenhouse or whatever, and they would use a, a front loader to drop in a couple of buckets of dirt or something. But I couldn't do that with the tonneau cover on, because even if I folded it up against the truck, dirt would still get in it, get on it, and there was a potential for it to be damaged. So I'd have to take it off. And while they're not horribly difficult to take off, it still does take uh, a bit of time. And uh, you have to line it up again when you put it back on, make sure it's square on the bed. And, and I just didn't want to screw with that. So that's an example, I guess, of a, a very simple mod that I did that in the end I regretted doing. And that's why, in particular, a tunnel cover, I've hesitated on doing it with my Tundra because I think I'd probably be in the same boat. There would be instances where I wouldn't want that thing on there and I'd have to screw with it if I wanted to, uh, to make a change. So anyway, I just wanted to get on here and talk about that for a couple minutes. Um, as usual, I appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, click that subscribe button if you haven't before. Give this video a big thumbs up and we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day.